What's up guys, welcome back. Listen, today's video is gonna be dope because it's different from any other video that I've made in a while. And I'm going to be doing a review on Wandered's Provoke Backpack. Um, if you've seen the title, then obviously you know that already. And I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this. They're unbiased. Any opinion that I'm going to speak on this backpack is completely mine and mine my own. If you are looking for a backpack, this review or video will be all you need to know if this is the backpack that you want or if you don't want it. So let's hop right into it. If you know me, you know I shoot a lot of film, a lot of digital, but I don't necessarily carry, like backpacks, I normally carry slings. So the thing I was trying to find was the perfect backpack. I'm not sure that the perfect backpack exists, but I did a lot of digging and I came across the Wandered Bag. Now, one of the biggest things for me is to find a backpack that doesn't necessarily scream camera backpack. Every backpack that you find meant for camera gear is always going to look like a camera backpack. And to me, that's a no-go. I don't want somebody to see me and go, there's camera gear in there. Now, they're probably gonna do the same thing with this bag because it screams traveler backpack, but to me, that's okay. So I'm gonna hop into some of my favorite things, some things I don't like, and just wrap it up with my overall thoughts on the backpack. The first thing I wanna say about the Provoke backpack is that it comes in three different sizes. There is a 21 liter, a 31 liter, and a 41 liter backpack. They make this in quite a few different colors. Um, you can get it in black. They have this like Wasatch green, um, what is it? Aggean blue, maybe it's Aggean how you say it. This is the Sedona orange colorway. They have a Yuma tan, that's actually a really nice colorway. And they have like a multi-cam, which is like a camouflage style of backpack. And I'm not sure that's my favorite one. This is my favorite hands down, the orange. I absolutely love it. We'll jump out of the gate with the price on this thing is $219. This is the all new Provoke backpack. Now, they do have a Provoke Lite, which is the camera based model of this backpack. And it has the camera cube that is physically attached to the backpack. The cool thing about the all new Provoke backpack is that it has a camera cube that is detachable. The downside to that is you gotta pay for it, right? So this backpack retails at $219, but that is only for the backpack. If you want the camera cube, on the inside of it, the small retails for an extra $80 and the large retails at $120. So that'd be the 219 plus 80 or $120, depending upon which style of photography you do, whether you wanna carry a lot of stuff or a little bit of stuff. Me personally, I just chose to carry a little bit of stuff because I don't need a ton of gear, just space for extra stuff and my camera at the same time. We'll go over a few reasons why I ended up choosing this bag. The main reason I chose this bag is how it looks. It looks like a backpack that you travel with. It has these cool handles on it, you can hold it from here. It's not too big. I like this leather exterior. It's weather resistant. Um, it has like this neoprene lining around all of the zippers and pouches and pockets. And to me, that just screams, I'm gonna protect your stuff. And that's kind of what I want out of a backpack, something that's going to protect what I put inside of it. Another thing I like about it is this color. And it sounds really silly, but this like leather on this Sedona orange color is just like, I don't know. It just looks cool. You can kind of see it's kind of shiny, but it has a really cool look to it. Like I said, it's like a, I don't know. It's a weird leather, but I like the color and it kind of stands out. Black backpack is fine too, but we'll jump into another reason. The pockets. This thing has pockets everywhere. If you're a traveler and you go anywhere and you need a backpack with a lot of pockets, this is the bag for you. One of the main reasons why I love this bag, unlike a lot of other camera bags, is it zips from the back, right? You have to pretty much get all your camera gear from the back. No disrespect to Peak Design and no slight, but I dislike bags that I can only access from the side pocket there's no front, but I also don't like bags that only access from the front that have no sort of like latch or covering that keep your camera gear from falling out. It has this really big pocket right here in the front, right? Open access, easy pocket that you get right into. Flip this around, 
has your water bottle pocket right here. It has an extendable for a water bottle, but if you close it up, put your tripod in here as well if you need to. I'm certain most tripods are gonna fit in there, at least mine did. Flip it around, it has this nice like padding on the back for support, but this nice strap right here, that's like really good. Underneath that strap, it's really hard to see here on camera though, but underneath that strap, you can unzip that and you can put a nice little, nice little thing in there, towels or whatever, a nice little satchel area to put stuff. Um, underneath, we dive right into underneath the bag and it has these clamp points right here for straps that it comes with inside the bag. If you wanna wrap this around and put a tripod in it or a water bottle or a towel or something like that. Now, under that, there's also another pocket right under that to house other things. That is amazing. There's pockets everywhere. Like, I guess hidden pockets. I don't even call them hidden pockets, they're just pockets. There are a ton of accessible pockets that you can use. If you go up here to the top, that you undo these magnetic handles, you unzip this top pouch, and it has a pouch right there for your phone. Put your phone in there, it has this nice little velvet lining, so it looks really good in there. And it's safe, keeps your phone there, and it keeps it high off your back if you're hiking or you're just somewhere and you don't want your phone in your pocket. It's a great access or great storage point. Lastly, there's this pocket right here on the side that unzips, reach in here, has this nice carabiner, and that's going to be for your keys or any other small things you wanna put in there. And it's a really small pocket, but it's really cool. I like that. It's one of my favorite pockets because I hate having keys in my pocket. I absolutely despise it. So keeping my keys here is a real winner for me. All of these pockets have this like neoprene lining in there that keeps the water out, which is awesome. It has like a rounded area that goes over the YKK zippers that keep any kind of excess water out, which is what you want in a backpack to keep water out. You put a lot of camera gear or whatever in here, you don't want it to get wet or you wanna be able to take the bag in wet locations. And that's a big W for me. So another thing I like about this bag is the layout of the bag. It has this really gnarly roll top that has this locking mechanism so nobody can pull up behind you and just kind of, you know, take your stuff out of your bag while you're out. So you unlock it and then you can literally roll this top and then that just becomes that much more extra storage if you're out. It goes down to about right here, I would say. So you get this much and down here with about, yeah, it's a pretty good amount of extra storage. So if you're out and you just happen to need extra space when you're traveling, you can do that or add that and it doesn't interfere or intervene with your camera gear or what you have already in the backpack, which to me is a huge plus. I love the layout of the bag, right? If we go into the back, it has these really gnarly zip access points. So unlike the YKK zippers on the side that you just yank, this one has a, a pull. So it really easily grips to your fingers and then you lay your bag down, you open it up, I didn't unzip it, you open it up, and then you have your camera cube on the inside. That is going to be everything that you need for your photography stuff. There is a zip pocket here that you can open as well that gets you back into the top half to where your clothes are or whatever you have in this top satch up here. But this is gonna be all your photography stuff. The layout of this bag to me is perfect. If we keep going in to like the layout and the customization of this bag, that's another real seller for me because you're, there's so many things you can do to it. There's so many ways you can make it a bag of your own. If you're carrying this bag and you're out and you have your photo gear and you stop by the store and you, you're traveling and you wanna buy a shirt or you buy some pants or whatever, you can literally take the bag and you can unstrap it. That's why you pay for the photography upgrade, I'm assuming. That's only with the all new Provoke bag. You can literally take this camera cube and you can pull it out of your bag. It has a fold back strap. You zip it closed and guess what? Now you have a second bag. It has a handle and there is straps in here that you can connect to your strap. Put it over your shoulder and now you have a bag here and you have the entirety of this empty bag to make two backpacks or two carrying bags or whatever you want to call it. It's like a, it's not super hard, but it is a hard shelled camera bag. To me, 
to me, that is one of the coolest things about this bag because you're not just stuck with a camera cube backpack like 90% of camera bags out there that are solely meant for camera bags. This one turns into its own very standalone backpack that now just has a bunch of empty space that has this like water sealed lining in here and you can just use it for normal travel. Say you wanna leave your camera at home and you just wanna carry it for one day. That is one of the reasons that really sold me on this bag. There's a laptop case right here that you can put your MacBook in. I do have a 13 inch MacBook Air that will fit in here perfectly, but if you have 15 inch, it probably won't go. There's a little pouch right here that you can put a 12.9 inch iPad Pro in, which mine fits perfect. Um, it does have this extra padding in here. It has all these zippers for your memory cards, zippers for camera cloths, or just whatever you like. Oh, on the camera cube, I was able to actually lock the camera cube itself and close it. You can do that inside of the bag. So if I'm traveling, someone can't walk up behind you and unzip your bag and take your camera out because the cube is locked on the inside. So there is a way to not allow access to your bag at any moment's notice with this lock here and the closure of the camera cube. To me, safety is the utmost importance when traveling. So to keep people from getting into your stuff, absolutely sells me obviously has these cool magnetic handles on the top so you can carry it like this and then that's pretty much it now let's talk about the few small things that i dislike about this bag one is going to be the material as weird as it is i like this i love the look of this like leatherish material i have no idea what it's really called but i love the look of it it feels really good it feels durable it's weather sealed everything about it is great the only thing i don't like about it is it seems to be real scratch like prone to scratching i carried this bag for about eight hours the other day all day because i wanted to see how it felt comfortable wise amazing it feels great fits on the body really good really snug but you have to lay the bag down to unstrap it you don't have to but it's easier if you want to reach your cube the easy way with that being said, I laid it down on the concrete. When you go to pick it up, it leaves scratches on it. Now this color doesn't seem to be the worst when it comes to scratches, but I can imagine that a darker color like the black or something like that, the Yuma tan maybe, it might scratch a little bit more and it might just look ugly over time. They do put a lifetime warranty on it, so it doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but something that, you know what I mean, it's kind of an expensive bag, so I want it to look good, I guess because you pay a lot of money for it. Another thing that I guess I don't necessarily like about the bag is the price. It's somewhat of an expensive bag. If you think about $120 for a camera cube and then $219 for a bag, you're looking at easily, you know, almost $400 for a backpack. Um, kind of expensive with taxes and shipping, kind of a lot of money for a bag. Are there other bags on the market that you can find for, you know, $380, $400? Of course there are. Now, if you get the small cube like mine and the bag that I got, you're looking at closer to $300 with tax. But like I said, that's a, I try to be very, I'm a frugal guy. So I'll let you guys make your own decision, but that's not a drop in the bucket to just go out and buy a $350 bag for everybody or a $300 bag. So you have to really make sure it's a bag that you want. Now, with that being said, if you're gonna put $2,000 worth of camera equipment in it, I would hope that it's a pretty good bag and that it holds up. And this seems to be pretty durable. Um, the last thing I don't really like about the bag is going to be like the buckles. They seem to be kind of cheap. Now this one is really nice, really heavy duty metal buckle. Um, the zippers are great, everything seems great. The only thing I don't like is these just feel kind of cheap. And like I said, for a $300 bag, I'd really hope that uh, I'm getting my money's worth out of that. Lastly, I want to touch on is they have these buckles on the front for a lot of things, but it has this cool like they're, I guess I would say it's probably their own proprietary like design, but the, I guess, chest strap to make it more secure, relieve some of that stress on your back. A lot of camera bags, they have like a buckle or like some sort of snap that goes across your chest. This one just has a pull apart. You literally just, just snap it off, right? And then it goes across to the other bag and it literally just snaps in place. And therefore you have your camera cool thing about that is you can put these 
wherever you need to put them to relieve that stress on your back. So you don't just have to have it in one location like a lot of camera bags have. You can slide it up and down. And to release that trigger, all you gotta do is pull it. And then your trigger comes right off. Or only say your trigger, your clamp, clasp, whatever you wanna call it. And then I, I snap it back onto the same side when I'm not using it. And that keeps it perfectly out of the way for me. So yeah, that's a really cool nifty feature that I like a lot about this bag. Overall, I would give this bag a nine out of 10. One of the best bags on the market to me. Um